What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video for today. So here we can see guys the SEC is fighting the last war. SEC chair Gary Gensel wants you to think Coinbase and Binance are the same as FTX and Celsius. They are not. So this is a very good argument, right? Because now, because they made that mistake with FTX, they want to show you that now they're suing Coinbase and Binance, right? That these are the same entities. Guys, these are not the same. You have to understand one thing. These are not the same as FTX or Celsius in one any way, right? Because first of all, Binance operates 95% outside of the US. So they can never fully uh, sue them and, and take out of them what they want. It's going to be a very tough battle battling Binance. First of all, Coinbase is the same, guys. It's worldwide. It's large entity. And they have also a large community, actually, right? But first of all, what I want to tell you guys is that everything is decided after, XR after XRP is ruled, deemed a security or not. And this is not the SEC's power. We have seen that. They are just waiting for the right moment. And John Deaton said something very interesting about that, which I'm going to show you as well. Here we can see the SEC one-two punch of suits against Binance and Coinbase. This week hardly came out of the blue. The question of how to regulate crypto exchanges has been at a high simmer for years. And while the specifics of their approach are eminently deb debatable, the SEC was bound to go after the big boys sooner than later, which I think, guys, they are not going to win this in any way. And I think Ripple will actually pave that way because that lawsuit is almost over. Financial instrument plus ISO 222 Swift Knowledge Center blockchain addresses quantity of financial instruments. So here are some papers, guys, talking about how they will use XRP and other instruments a bridge currency for liquidity here you can see its option bridge between two currencies as it could be exchanged in any value the digital fiat digital currencies gold loyalty points or securities very interesting paper this one guys blockchain address or wallet where digital assets are maintained this is the equivalent of safekeeping account for digital assets this is all coming guys open your eyes please because a lot of people still think that crypto is some kind of thing that will go away this technology will not go away open your eyes because they are laying the groundwork now and they are putting a bad name on it so that a lot of people will actually miss out on this great opportunity that is presented before you here we can see john deaton crypto isn't dead i will say this again this is all about crushing the market and then watch gp morgan goldman sachs will get a bigger slice and then give Ganser a call and then there will be some framework called worked out now this is what i have been saying this is why i always have said that this lawsuit is staged from the beginning this is all an agenda guys to actually uh, put something into place where they where the big players can get most of the let's say most of the slice and then they will lay the framework they will work everything out and then you will see mass adoption but then they have positioned themselves very very well for the market and for the bull run that is to come because listen the next bull run is going to be huge guys we are going to see clarity in this market right especially for xrp Imagine XRP being deemed non-security. It will be the only one besides Bitcoin that is really free of any lawsuits, free of any accusations. And they will have found nothing on Ripple that is negative or fraud or scams. Nothing to do with Ripple. They are clean. They have a digital asset which, which is solving a real world problem. And it will be the only one that is regulated besides Bitcoin right but bitcoin doesn't have the utility that xrp basically has so you can clearly guess where this is heading xrp could easily become the number one digital asset guys in the next bull run mark my words this is something that is possible to happen right i'm not saying it's 100 percent because do not underestimate bitcoin right everyone needs to remember the sec calling an asset as security does not mean it is a security here is the SEC admitting that the court decides if the SEC's claim or theory is even valid. 
Now, you have to ask yourself, Gary Gensler has been put before Congress and has been humiliated there. They have, they literally laughed at him. They asked him questions with he, which he could not answer. Now ask yourself this, guys. If we can see that Gary Gensler is not doing a good job, why is Congress still holding back? This is something with urgency and they know that because crypto is taking off worldwide. It is being used. There is like, there's countries that are building, already have a framework and they're building this empire around crypto inviting multiple companies, people who are dealing with crypto, which will boost their economy and USA is missing out. Why are they doing that? Ask yourself this, because again, the big players are not positioned well. They need to position themselves first. They need to be ready before they can let this thing really take off. Remember, USA has still the biggest uh, economy in the world. Not for long anymore, I think, because China is really uh, getting very close, but it is still as of today has a bigger GDP. So it's still the biggest economy. Thus, the commission's enforcement proceeding in the Southern District of New York brought under the Securities Act supplies the ex exclusive method for testing the validity of the commission's complaint against Ripple, right? So again, it's just a complaint. They are checking if it's even valid, which, do which doesn't mean anything yet from the Swift Knowledge Center. Here they are saying, guys, add a new format option D with 140 characters to field 97A account to be able to transport the blockchain address wallet ID. What does that mean? It means, guys, that they're going to use this, right? Swift is telling you that they're going to use blockchain addresses. Otherwise, this would not have been here. A add new format option D with 30 decimals to all qualifiers of the field 36 a quantity of financial instrument. So again, showing you that they are putting this framework into place, Swift will start using blockchain distributed ledger technology. Look who owns Coinbase and they're in full battle with the SEC unless it's staged like Ripple case. Again, showing you guys what companies are holding Coinbase? Now look at this, Vanguard, ARK Investment, BlackRock, Fidelity, Morgan Stanley Investment Management, Goldman Sachs. Now again, we were talking about this. It's not like we don't have any proof to back this. You can clearly see that they are positioning themselves in this market before they want this thing to take off. Listen guys, Gary Gensler is reading a script. We have show you, we, we shown you that in the previous video, we have shown you clear that Gary Gensler is reading a script. That's all he's doing. He's playing by the book. You can hate him. You can do everything you want. He's just doing his thing. And he knows that he's going to be hated for it because he doesn't care. He gets millions. Have you seen this guy's net worth? These people don't actually earn that much. They have a huge net worth. Why is that? It's because they're doing things off the books, guys. They're doing things on. It's not even legal what they're doing, but they're go, coming away with it because there's such big entities behind it, right? Like these people actually own the governments, the, 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 the companies that you see here, BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, th these companies manage trillions of dollars, guys. You really think that they're going to play everything by the book or by the rules. They have an agenda and their agenda is most likely to be followed because they have the money, right? To back everything up. I hope you understand that guys. Narrow stable coins are the digital currency counterpart of narrow banking. And what is proposed here is simply that narrow stable coin issuers be allowed to participate in the stable coin market along with insured stable coin issuers. Here we can see a video, guys, very quickly. Money talks, it's narrow, problems, international it? monetary research talking about analysis and insight into trends in money and banking. So basically you can see Canada is paying a gift things with QR codes already. This hasn't reached my small town yet. We are moving very quickly, guys. I thought, I just thought this was very hilarious. Yoshitaka Kitao, Ripple's board member and head of SBI groups is calling out Gary Gensler and shows his bullishness on XRP. Now, I, this is not the real translation, guys, but just for fun, let's see what he says. Ripple XRP 
、えー、まあ大変なキャピタルゲイン売ればキャピタルゲインでリアライズされますけど売れなくてもそう So he's basically telling you guys not to worry because XRP is going to take off very, very soon. Hey, Brian Osmond, Eat, think I can help you here. The thing that shifted about a year ago is the XRP community exposed e a t Gate, which curiously none of you will speak of. Again, you can see the hypocrisy here, guys. Just the last video to show you here Brian Armstrong of Coinbase. Let's take a look. Updated information from regulators. We go in and we talk to them. We say, great, if, if the rules have changed, how can we adjust? And if, you know, an example of that was they said, XRP, we think might be a security. We said, okay, we want to act in good faith. We'll delist it. We don't know if it's a security or not. And that court case is still playing out. But you know, we want to be collaborative and, and work with regulators. And then something shifted about a year ago.、Um, A totally different tone started to happen. And we kind of got this information from the SEC that, well, actually, we think everything other than Bitcoin is a security. And we kind of said to ourselves, well, that's not our, our understanding of the law. You know, how are you coming to this conclusion? So when they said XRP is a security, they actually delisted it. But then they said everything is a security. Now they are still listing everything and they're in battle with the SEC themselves. Can you see the hypocrisy here, guys? Again, I'm telling you, they do not want you to buy XRP. They are all in this together, guys. Whether you like it, believe it or not, this is what's going on. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. See you in the next one. Cheers.